In this video, we're going to review today's Fortnite item shop, cosmetics, prices, and more. So first of all, before I click A and get into Fortnite, I would like you guys to subscribe as it's very helpful to me here on YouTube. So press that subscribe button to subscribe to the Anthony Allen YouTube channel. Now let's press A and get in to Fortnite. So we're loading into Fortnite now, I'm pressing A, I'm playing on the Xbox Series S, so you should see that crisp 60 frames per second while you're watching this on YouTube. On screen right now, we have the Marshmallow Bundle, and this will be available in the Fortnite item shop. We're going to be having a look at what the prices are for these items and what's available in the Fortnite item shop today. On screen right now, you can see the marshmallow set and we're going to go through the set to see what's available. I'll be going through the prices at the end of the video and also giving you my final verdict on the Fortnite item shop today as I will rate the item shop on a whole out of 10. The marshmallow bundle set was introduced in season 7 and it's a reactive skin, meaning that the lights on this skin change and react to certain things. It lights up while using musical emotes, as it says on the screen right there. So while using musical emotes, this skin will light up. Now moving along, you can also see that we have a musical emote that comes along with the marshmallow skin here. <laughs> now it's gone back to my previous skin because it's showing you the skin using the emote, because what you're purchasing is the emote if you purchase that emote separately. Uh, moving along, you also have this pickaxe, again, lights up while using musical emotes. So that's also really cool. You can also listen to the swing sound effect. So I'm going to press the left stick on my Xbox controller right now, and that will give us the sound that is played when you are using this pickaxe. <laughs> I've accidentally just moved my joystick along and you can see that we're now having a look at the glider that comes along with this set again lights up while using musical emotes of course gliders when you're gliding you can't actually emote in the air who knows maybe if it's because somebody emotes around you if you've got this glider let me know in the comment section down below we've had a look at the marshmallow set which is available for a limited amount of time today if you log in to Fortnite there was a thousand V bucks off and this entire set costs 2300 V-Bucks. We'll be having a look at how many V-Bucks you need to purchase for what you want today. So moving along, you can also see there are featured set. We have Pit Stop, Storm Racer, High Octane Pickaxe, Kira and G Green Eagle and Block Blades. Now you can preview these styles. For example, this is Pit Stop. Pit Stop is the female, looks like MP, GP racer, MP, <laughs> a female uh, GP racer. And you can see that she has two alternate styles. Now let's preview the styles. There's more than two actually. You have a default colour, which is this one here, which is a grey and purple on pink asset. If we zoom in here, you can see that we have the helmet on at all times with this skin. We're using the Xbox Series S, so of course you have a little bit of ray tracing in action there. So there's light bouncing off the textures when we're scrolling around this skin. We also have an alternative green style for Pit Stop. You can see that there is a green accents on the skin there. Again, that bat bling is my bat bling that does not come with this skin. Moving along, you have a purple asset style of the pit stop skin here. That's the purple style. And then we have the yellow. So there's a bit of customization with the skin here. And we also have a male version and I will show you that one now. So the male version is called Storm Racer. If we select Storm Racer, again, costs 1,200 V-Bucks. Let's preview those styles. You basically have the same things that you have with the female style here. Just, of course, in the alternative colours. Here's the green. Oh, I like that one because the helmet. Could I on the helmet there? And we also have the purple here. I like the little uh, decal going along the whole outfit there. And then we have the yellow. So there is a yellow, red with a little bit of pink, purpley asset there on this skin. Now moving along, we have the high octane pickaxe. <laughs> and I'll use that voice there. We have the high octane pickaxe again with the alternative styles in which you've just seen. Let's have a listen to that swing. Reminds me a little bit of the um, what's the the Neymar pickaxe. 
And then we have Kira. Kira's a very bright skin. The thing that I like about the Kira skin is that backpack. Now, one thing that I thought that Fortnite should introduce is being able to purchase the real life stylistics. Stylistics, the real life backpacks. So being able to purchase these real life backpacks would be really, really cool if there was a real life Fortnite store, maybe an online store where you could purchase these backpacks because there were so many different backpack styles in Fortnite. Maybe you go to college, high school, primary school, and you have a backpack that you want to take to school or you have a backpack that you wear in general because it's your fashion sense. Fortnite backpacks, there were so many to go through. Uh, so we also have a glider along with this as well. The set is called the Impact Set. The glider alone is 800 V-Bucks. So you can see that here. We can also redeploy to see how it looks when you deploy your glide out within the game. And we also have the pickaxe that comes along with this skin called Block Blades. Very bright lime green and a blackish grey, well dark grey asset there. Next up in the item shop today, we also have a limited time exclusive called the Champion. Now this Champion skin costs 800 V-Bucks. If you're using V-Bucks today to make your purchases within Fortnite for your cosmetics and items within the item shop today, this is one of the cheapest skins within the item shop today. So it's called the Champion and you can see that it was introduced in Chapter 2 Season 6 which is the current season we are in in Fortnite. You can see the orange and purple there on the champion we have a brand new skin as well called Kessler 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 now one thing I like about this skin here is the fact that the cape if we preview the stars it will stay still that the cape right there doesn't have any clipping so I have a very big back bling <laughs> I have a very big bat bling that I'm using. It's called the Street Fighter. Well, it's a Street Fighter arcade machine, basically, because, you know, I grew up with Street Fighter. Therefore, I want some Street Fighter 2 things in my Fortnite gameplays. <laughs> and it also makes Street Fighter noises as well. Uh, I purchased that with the Street Fighter set, which isn't available in the item shop at the moment. But you can see that it doesn't interfere with the cape as much. There has been some clipping within the game when you're using certain bat blings when your character has a cape. For example, the Mandalorian looks like they're fixing that and showing that off with this skin here. Clipping is when the graphics sort of merge into each other. Uh, and it looks a bit off, like, you know, it'll merge and you'll be like, well, why is the bat bling going into the character's head? Uh, and that's what's known as clipping. Now, Fortnite is an ongoing game and it does very well at sorting at its clipping. And you can see here that they're showing that off with this skin here, who looks very, very mysterious. Uh, there were two different styles with Kesslier. You can see that we have the regular style where the face is not covered and we have the alternative style where it's undercover but the face is covered and there's a few other differences there as well. Let me know if you notice any spot the difference there with this skin. Now this skin also comes with a bat bling. So if we move along here you can see the bat bling in action there and it's sort of like these spikes. I'm not sure what they are. Um, but they move, they look like they sort of have a bit of movement there. We also have the harvesting tool that comes along with the Kesslier skin, which is two glass daggers here. And we can also have a look and listen to these swings. So let's have a listen. Definitely sounds like glass. <laughs> um, so yeah, and we also get a loading screen. Now, if you're a streamer, if you're a gamer streamer and you're playing Fortnite, loading screens are very helpful when you're switching game mode. So rather than ending your game, you can have something that's on screen that helps some engagement with your viewers. So if you have a good loading screen, it does help within Fortnite. So having more loading screens, especially if you're a daily streamer and you stream quite often, loading screens are very, very important. So moving along, we have the Sky Stalker. Now the Sky Stalker looks like an Apex Legends character a little bit. Um, and you can see there that it has a gas mask, sort of World War II, I think, inspired. Um, and if we move along here, you can also see the 72B lightweight, what does that say? Army lightweight service tank. So you can see that it's very army inspired, uh, actually. So it's more of an army skin, sort of. Yeah, it would be a World War II thing, I think. We also have some emotes available in today's item shop. You can see that we have the boneless. <laughs> now the boneless skin 
is inspired by Conor McGregor. So if you remember the Conor McGregor fight between him himself and Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Um, he was seen doing a stretch in a training video where his shoulders were doing exactly what you saw just there in that emote. And I think that's where that emote is inspired from because it's definitely Conor McGregor inspired shoulder stretch. And you also have the deep dab. If you want to dab on your enemies after getting a snipe kill or an amazing kill and you can deep dab on people if you're that way inclined, we have the Buckle Up emote, which is also available. It was introduced in Chapter 2, Season 3. If you're into the cowboy flow, when you do a little two-step on the flow, then this is the emote for you. <laughs> we have the Toxic True Pad, which is also available for 1,500 V-Bucks. Let's have a look. It has two alternative styles. It has the default style and an alternative yellow style there. You can also zoom in and you can see that the helmet stays in place at all times. <laughs> Very important. It looks like he's actually tackling something radioactive. So maybe he is heading towards Slurpy Swamp for that radioactive water there. Something to do with that. You never know. He might turn into Slurpy. Toxic Trooper might be Slurpy Trooper. Slurpy Trooper might be somebody who comes into the game later on. That back bling is merging in with the skin actually. So it matches the skin of course. But if you look at it... From afar, you wouldn't actually see that was a battling, would you? It sort of. I do like to play around with these styles and what I'm using within Fortnite. So, of course, occasionally you'll see a completely different battling that matches the skin. Some of my viewers have actually paid attention and saw that already. And of course, we have the soccer. I call it, I'm going to call it soccer for my American viewers. It's also called football here in the UK. We call soccer football here in the UK. Let that go over your brain a little moment there. And we have our soccer skins here. Different alternative genders and races of football players. For example, the super striker is a black man who is a striker. And then you have the midfield maestro who is a white guy who is a midfield player. He's actually quite tanned. And then you have the female versions as well. So you have male and female. So you can find a skin that is right for you. And most importantly, if you select one of these skins and you preview the stars, you can select your international country of origin if you would like to show your support to your international football team. So for example, we have Brazil here. If you're a Brazilian, if you live in Brazil, or you support Brazil as an international football team. I know there are people here in the UK that support Brazil or they support Spain and not the UK. <laughs> like, that's a thing um, in football or soccer, for those of you who uh, call it soccer. You can see here, here's the England squad kit here. The Fortnite skin right there. And you can also change the number of your jersey. Now you can't see this on the back at the moment. You can just about see it when I'm when I'm moving aside there a little bit. Um, but you can see it on the shorts. So you can see there's a number 12 there on the shorts and watch it changes. So maybe if you played soccer or football in your in in school or you still do now or you play soccer and football just on a team somewhere, then you can actually select your number. Now my number was number 10. Just letting you know Neymar Jr. that when I was playing football in school my number was number 10. Just saying. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's something you can also do here. Saudi Arabia is also available on the selections there. So there is there is a little bit to select from. There could be more. There could be more. And when we give our rating at the end of this video, we will be talking about what could be done or more things that could make the rating higher or lower. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. So as well as those football skins, you also have a few cosmetics to go along with them. You have the Elite Cleat. <laughs> the Elite Cleat, um, which is a, a, a cleat and a ball. Um, we don't call them cleats in the UK, we just call them boots. Um, get your cleats on! Get your cleats on! But with a swing there, you can hear what that sounds like when you're using this harvesting tool. Then we have a Vuvuzela. <laughs> a Vuvuzela is a very loud sort of toot horn thing. And when we are, or when we were in football stadiums, watching football games, it was something that you do in really big Champions League or international football games or soccer games. And you'd hear it go off. Like, um, <laughs> so yeah, that's what a Vuvuzela is, just for those of you who didn't know what this was. And if you swing this tool, boom, 
That is what it sounds like when you're using this tool and you have an idea of what a Vuvuzela sounds like. And moving along, we also have the goal bound uh, glider. You can purchase these cosmetics individually as well. Uh, you can hear a little football cheer there. And there is a nice little, nice little football field that separates the middle of the glider. That separates the middle. Yeah. Yeah. There's a football field on either side of the glider there. So there's one goal on one side. One goal on the other. That's kind of cool. And if I deploy that again, this is the sound that you will be hearing when you're using that glide out within game. Costing 500 V-Bucks. Now you also have kick-ups and let's have a look at the skills. Let's have a look at the skills. What you got? Yeah, round the world. Okay, okay. Oh, it's on top. There's a little bit of clipping there. Oh, oh, it's round the head. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Costing 500 V-Bucks today, you can get this kick-ups emote. Now we also have red card, I've already purchased red card uh, because I like to pull this emote, it was introduced in season 4 I like to pull this emote when I'm just being comedic when I'm just sort of like, if I've just, you know, knocked somebody out of the game and it was really funny or something, I'll blow the... <laughs> um, so <laughs> I would literally do this occasionally or if somebody's doing something I'm like, get out of the game! <laughs> One thing that I'd like Fortnite to bring back is the laugh emote so there's like a donkey laugh emote I haven't had chance to purchase that yet. I would like to have that within Fortnite so I can purchase the Donkey Laugh emote. So when I'm doing no commentary gameplays, I can have, you know, those funny moments, like letting you guys know that I'm laughing when I'm playing, when I'm doing certain things. Um, so it'd be good to have that emote. Fortnite, can you please bring that back, please? Um, so that'd be something that I'd like to see. Now, as well as football and soccer skins within Fortnite at the moment, we also have the basketball skins. So we have the half court hero here. Let's have a look at this skin and let's preview the style. So when we preview the style, you can see that we also have the Fortnite jersey if you don't support an NBA team, but you also have the actual NBA teams. I know not all of these teams will be in the playoffs. So you can actually select your team if you support a NBA team at the moment. For example, here are the Celtics and we also have the Cavaliers next to the Celtics and we have Chicago Bulls and we have the Milwaukee Bucks and the 76ers, the Miami Heat. There's quite a lot to select from in terms of Miami Heat, there's quite a lot to select from in terms of your basketball jerseys when you're using a basketball skin with it here in Fortnite. It's a good crossover. It was introduced in Chapter 2, Season 6, which is our current season. Now, moving up, you can also see that you can change the number of the jersey again. I'm going to move mine to number 10, but I'm not... Number 10? I'm going to move mine to number 10, but I'm not going to change the jersey just yet. So just to give you an idea of what these skins are and how these work, you can also see that this player has his fade on luck. Look at that hairline, man, it's sharp. And he's got the connection as well into the sideburn and into the beard and the goatee. Ryan's got his hair game on luck. So yeah, so and you, again, you have the male skins, different races and genders to keep it equal so you can find a skin that is right for you. Maybe you want your skin to look more like you, therefore you'll be able to select uh, a variation of these skins here. Moving down, they have actually done something that I haven't done with the football uh, skins so that's that's something that we'll have a look at there but you can actually buy a whole side by the look of it before we get into that there is a back bling and let's have a look at this back bling here so you have a basketball hoop back bling again can we change these styles let's have a look so if I press a you can change the styles on these back blings here so you can change for uh, different squads here different NBA teams there's the 76ers the Suns, the Phoenix Suns, right, there we go. We get, and then we've got Golden Gate, of course, Golden Gate Warriors on the back there. So you can literally pick your team, Houston Rockets, for example, LA Lakers. You can pick your team for this back bling here. It's kind of cool back bling. I wonder if you can actually shoot into it somehow. Well, there is a basketball and, oops, hold on a second. Let's go back to that basketball. Right, so there is a basketball bat bling as well. Of course, it's a regular basketball. <laughs> and you can use this for your back bling as well. If there's a toy, maybe like with Fortnite toys, I'd like to have more Fortnite toys as well. At the moment, sometimes when I'm playing around, if I've decided to camp in a really funny place, if I'm playing around, I'll throw a bouncy ball or something, or I'll throw like a water bomb. Um, so have a look at that when you have a look at some of my Fortnite content, my Fortnite wins, you'll see that. We also have an emote for 500 v box Let's press A on this emote here. What skills you got? What skills you got? Okay, it's got a little bit of a faint. She's got a little bit of a... Oh, it's going around the back. There's a spin. 
between the legs. Okay, a little bit of a crossover and a faint. Cool, sweet. So you've got an emote there, not traveling. So traveling in basketball is when you grab the ball by two hands and you move the space, right? Uh, or you walk a space or you take a few steps without, you know, with two hands or you hop with two hands like, and hop again. That's what's known as traveling. You can also purchase an entire side, an entire team here of alternative skin styles. For example, if you want some male skins here, you've got the male basketball skins. You can't do this with the football skins, I may add, but you can also do this for the uh, female teams as well. Both of these are bundled purchases, which have been slashed in price to 3,500 V-Bucks. We also have the Trey Young's lockout. Trey Young is a basketball player and you have his lockout where you can purchase either some of the items that he has selected within Fortnite or the entire bundle. The entire bundle is actually a cheap bundle at 1,700 V-Bucks. And if we select this now, you can see what you have available with 900 V-Bucks off it mentions up above there. In Trey Young's locker at the moment, you have the Scarlet Commander skin, which is completely covered. Look, look like she's undercover right there, but she has some shells in her belt. You also have the Gold Digger, this was introduced in Season 8, the Gold Digger Harvesting Tool, along with this Happy Stars skin for your weapons. Now you can actually cycle this because you don't have to use this skin for your weapons on every weapon. You can use it on just one of your weapons maybe. And if you actually cycle through, for example there's the P90, you can see what this looks like on that specific gun. And along with that you also have, okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Got some Harlem Globe type of thing going on there. Yeah. Take it. Take it. Uh. Yeah. Work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have this emote as well. And all four of those items will set you back 1,700 V-Bucks. You'll get into the prices a little bit more later on in this video. Now, we have Donovan Mitchell's Lockout, also a basketball player, and this is what he has selected within Fortnite. If we press A, this costs 2,000 V-Bucks slashed from 3,300 V-Bucks. We have, let's preview the style, the Cozy Chomps. Now, Cozy Chomps is really cool because imagine having this onesie in real life, man. Like if you were just chilling and you've got your Fortnite onesie. So this is something that Fortnite can do. Epic Games can actually sell these items for real. Maybe the backpacks, maybe the onesies. All these things would be really cool to purchase. Imagine walking around in your Fortnite onesie, man. And you've got like Cozy Chomps onesie. At home, you're just chilling in your onesie. It also pulls up to the, it covers your face while it keeps your neck warm, like, you know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, there are two different styles for this onesie here. Uh, you have the default style, which has a tail, and then moving along to the alternative style, which does not have a tail. So there are two different versions of the Cozy Chomps available in this pack. You also have a back bling, which is a shark, a cuddly toy shark. <laughs> Let's have a look at that. It has a little bit of movement there when I'm moving the camera which is really cool, which means that when you're moving your, your, your skin within the game, the Cozy Shark will also move along with it. So that's quite cool. Look, I'm waving, the, I'm waving the fin, waving the fin. And the tail moves, just not as flimsy. We also have in this pack, the Stark Splitter. Now with this Stark Splitter, you can see that on the hilt, there is a skull, like a candy skull. But if I actually swing this tool, you'll be able to hear what this sounds like within game. So it sounds like an axe, uh, a lot of the, because <laughs> it is an axe, but a lot of the axes within Fortnite have a distinctive sound and you can hear that this sound sounds a lot like the, I think it was like the Skyrim axe that was introduced at one point, there was a Skyrim inspired axe in one season and that's what that sounds like. You also have the dynamic flare gun skin here, so let's have a look at that, it changes colour, it looks like it has dynamic fire, sorry, not dynamic flare. You can see that they're changing colors. This will happen within game, and you can see that you can use this for a variety of gun assortment right there, and you can see it in action. Now we have a very popular emote here. We have the Fire Spinner. The thing that I like about the Fire Spinner is that we're playing on the Xbox Series S, and 
and we're previewing these styles on the Xbox Series S and you can see just some of the ray tracing in action there. With the ray tracing, the light is bouncing off surfaces and giving you a more dynamic feel to the emote and that's what you can see on screen right now as you can see the light bouncing off the flat texture of this environment. So that entire bundle will cost you 2,000 V-Bucks. We also have Beast Boy. So Beast Boy has been introduced to the item shop and is still available for a limited period of time at this current time today. So on this Beast Boy bundle, we have Beast Boy himself in two alternative styles. We have his teen title getup and then we have his casual getup. And you can also have his go ape attire. So if we press the preview styles, I'll give you a closer look at what Beast Boy looks like. He's, uh, he's got some abs though, bro. Look at, look at Beast Boy. Beast Boy's abs up. Beast Boy's looking ripped. Right, so there's Beast Boy in his Teen, teen Titans gear. You can see he's got his Teen Titans boots here. He's a very distinctive look. Uh, Robin also has boots, so maybe Robin would make an appearance. We never know. I did say, what if, you know, Beast Boy comes to the item shop? It'd be really cool. But you guys jumped on it as soon as, teen, uh, as, soon as Beast Boy was available. You guys absolutely jumped on it. I saw all the videos popping up, so it was a good idea. And then we have Garfield Logan, of course, which is Beast Boy's alter not his alter ego but it's like he's trying to be normal look even though he's a martian i think <laughs> i'm not sure beast boy's origins but i know he's not human because he's green <laughs> and you can see there he's in his casual uh, attire there and then we have his go ape which we've just had a look at here and he's still he's still he doesn't look mean he doesn't look mean does he in his gorilla form along with that we also have a very beast boy inspired bat bling yeah it's pizza yeah it's definitely beast boy inspired thing he's got it sort of wrapped up he's got his remote wrapped up there is that a, a playstation remote or is that more of an xbox controller it looks more of an xbox controller yeah because no 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 it's just it's impartial it's an impartial controller <laughs> Um, we also have his harvesting tool. So Beast Boy has a harvesting tool as well. Let's swing that. Sounds like a baton, like a metal baton. He means business there. And then we have the actual Go Ape emote if you're not using that as a skin, alternatively. So that's quite cool. You can actually use the emote. And do you have to unlock the star? I'm not sure. Transform between stars with a built-in Go Ape emote. So it doesn't even look like you actually have to um, unlock any challenges in order to get that. Then we have what I have already used, and you should see this within my Fortnite wins playlist, which should appear in the cards up above right now. We have the Batman Zero bundle, which I have already purchased, so it doesn't have the price on it, but it does cost you, at this moment in time, 3,500 V-Bucks. With this skin, you get Batman himself. You will get Batman's back bling cape. You will get Batman's gadget pickaxe. And you also get his cape for a glider. Along with this, you get a loading screen. So again, if you are a streamer or if you're playing Fortnite and you like to have something on screen in order to keep you engaged with the game and, you know, keep something on screen, at least when you're loading the game, because there is still a loading screen in Fortnite, because there needs to be because of the lobbies and the way the lobbies work, then of course you can have the Batman loading screen. As well as Batman Zero, you also have the Catwoman Zero bundle. Along with the Catwoman Zero bundle, we have Catwoman, the skin herself. Very Catwoman inspired there. She has her whip sort of, yeah, yeah, that's her whip. It's around her waist. You can see her whip wrapped around her waist there. Of course, that bat bling is my Street Fighter bat bling. It doesn't come along with Catwoman. And if we move along, we also have her whip wrapped around a sort of, uh, a sort of claw here. So, you know, rather than just the whip just hitting things because it wouldn't make any sense for how Fortnite works if you're whipping the things to harvest your materials it wouldn't make sense if it was just a whip on its own it has a claw a piece of metal along with it with that swing tool if i press that now you can hear it that is what that harvesting tool sounds like when you're using that there is 500 v bucks off and we're going to move on to the next part of the item store. As you can tell, there's a lot to unpack. There's a lot of volume in the item store today, which is the reason why it requires this review. So I'm reviewing this for you to give you another perspective on the item store and just to show you what's available if you haven't had a look today either. 
So there is a lot of reasons why you should watch this video all the way through to the end. And I will also give you my rating at the end of the video. So we have the Horizon Dawn bundle. Now Horizon Dawn does sort of remind me of Maeve. I'm not sure how she fits into the Fortnite story at the moment. But you can see what's available. You have the skin itself. And she looks very Viking inspired. And she also looks quite upset. Right? So I'm not sure. Like, she looks sort of worried there, didn't she? She doesn't look very like, hmm. I'm not sure. She doesn't look very definitive. She sort of looks a little bit... I'm not sure. Ah, I've actually seen this. I've seen this item in the Fortnite map. You can find this item by the dinosaur bones next to where one of the spires are. So I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find that next to some dinosaur bones and some dinosaur eggs. Uh, I've seen this quite a few times. Maybe that has something to do with the Fortnite story and the dinosaurs, how the dinosaurs got there in the first place. Then we also have her harvesting tool. That is the sound of the Eloy's spear. Is cool. Then we have this amazing glider. Look at that. That glider is something cool, man. It's called the Glint Hawk. Well, let's deploy that again. Yeah, so it's like a techno dinosaur, a techno prehistoric dinosaur that you can see there so another thing that's going on with the Fortnite story who knows what's going to happen next season but the gold wild season is this season so maybe the dinosaurs won't make every time who knows and you have a gun skin this gun skin is called shield weaver and you can toggle the different weapon ty types here to see what that looks like and you can also trigger the weapon if it works there we go to see what happens when you shoot the weapon now we have another loading screen again here and you can see that there is a storyline going on with Horizon Zero Dawn and you can see her hanging off the battle bus with her glider alongside the battle bus. That looks like a good short story. <laughs> and then you have something that I have already purchased which is the Heart Horizon. Just showing some love. <laughs> So that's everything that's available in that bundle there. Along with the V-Book purchase bundles, you can also use cash to make your purchases. Now mine, of course, will be in Great British Pounds, but you can also convert this into dollars or your current currency. So we have the Fortnite Snakes and Stone Challenge Pack. So along with this, you get the Lyra, well, let's inspect the items first. So you get the Lyra skin, so we can preview the style as well. There is the normal default version, which you can see here, where she's sort of stony. She sort of does remind me of uh, Medusa. Uh, Maeve has like Medusa snake hair. Medusa is a Greek myth character. And you can see that this might be along that storyline. Uh, thread in Fortnite, who knows, but Stonesies <laughs> is the top that she's wearing, so there's a Stonesy Jonesy, and then we have the Sidewinder Lyra here, and you can see her style all the way into her chest and then up, up and down that decor on her top there, again, something that people could purchase clothing-wise in terms of Fortnite. We also have a Bat Bling, which is the Stonesies head. <laughs> After the Stones' his head, we have the Slitherous Staff. So maybe there's some magic involved here. Slytherin, Slitherous, where's the Harry Potter fans out there? Slitherous Staff is also available. Let's give this a swing to see what it sounds like. And the snakes are animated throughout using this pickaxe. You can see them sticking out their tongue as it's their natural thing to do. And we have some challenges that come along with this pack. Now we also have the double agent pack here for 2,500 V-Bucks. Let's inspect some of the items. We have this amazing Melina looking skin here. I'm gonna preview the star so it doesn't change for a moment. We have the white and gold default version here, which means it's ghost. So by default, this skin is a ghost character. But if we move along, we have the shadow hush. So with the Shadow Hush, we have a sort of black and gold version of the skin. Again, does remind me of Melina from Mortal Kombat. Uh, you can see that her eyes are gold, but she also has her face covered. And that's the thing that reminds me of Melina, as well as the, high, the hairstyle as well. Um, Art-wise, looking kind of cool. You can see there's two grenade looking things hanging from her chest plate there with a fanny pack. Uh, that's what I used to be called <laughs> back in the day. Um, it's just not, it's, it's in, a different region. Moving on, 
<laughs> we have a bat bling for this pack here, which is the gas canisters just on a bat bling as well in both the same styles in which we've just seen. Then we have a skin, the another a double agent wild card here, the ghost version and the shadow wild card version. Who knows what side they originally are on? Then we have a double agent hard case. So there's two different versions here. We have the ghost and shadow version as well of that. Then we have the Chaos Double Agent. Now this spray we have available. Um, we had it quite a few seasons ago. Who knows what the Chaos Double Agent is up to within the Fortnite story. But of course, he has two alternative styles. So his story has been playing along throughout the game. If you've been paying attention to the Chaos Double Agent, you would know. But there is some gold goop on his head there in the goopy version of the Chaos Double Agent. And of course, you have the Shadow and Ghost versions of both these alternative skins here for the character. After that, you also have the Bat Bling that goes along with that double agent. This entire pack can be yours at 2,500 V-Bucks. Now notice that was a V-Bucks purchase. You also have separate the Shadow Pickaxe Pack. So the Shadow Pickaxe Packs involves these two items here, or three items actually. Let's inspect. Yeah, there are three items. There are the uh, double Kitana Swords. Or double swords, not gonna sword and katanas because they're not, so they're blades rather. And then there is a gold crow, which is a gold crowbar. And you can see that here. Let's give this a swing. I think that sounds like a crowbar. And then we have the mayhem scythe, which is the goopy scythe here. Let's give this a swing. Okay then. <laughs> Then we have one of the cheapest packs that you can buy here today in Fortnite item store. Uh, we have the Hazard Platoon pack, which costs you £3.19. By selecting this, I'll show you what you have available. You will get 600 V-Bucks along with this purchase here. And you can also inspect the items. You can see that you have the Centurion skin, which is here. And there are two different alternative styles for the Centurion skin. We have the Assault and we also have... Ooh, don't purchase. <laughs> we have the assault and we also have the default version. This is the default version of Centaurian. Where he has the paint on his face. He's more in a dark asset there. And then click on to the assault version. There is more of a burgundy look. <laughs> and his trouser color changes it from a black camo to more of a bluish navy camo. You also have a bat bling that comes along with it, which is two different types of backpacks. Um, so you can see the different backpacks here. Look like it's good for camping. That'd be really good for camping, wouldn't it? I mean, the shotgun shells you couldn't have on a backpack, maybe because people were like, "Woo!" But you can maybe, you know, change the shotgun shells into like water bottles or something. That could be like you could open them up and maybe you can put things inside them, and it could be part of the back, the the, the backpack that way. And that's the way Fortnite could sell backpacks like these, like if they've got shotgun shells in them. <laughs> but you can see that backpack there. And then if we go into the next version, look at that. That's a cool backpack. Very cool backpack. I like. I likes. And then we also have the pickaxe for the Centurion with the two alternative styles, actually with a gold and gray version. Let's give us a swing. I believe it sounds like an axe. <laughs> we have the highly demanded, highly requested, the last laugh bundle. This pack costs you $24.99. Remember, we will be reviewing the item shop today on a whole at the end of this video to remember to watch all the way through until the end. With the last laugh bundle, you can see that you get the Joker. The Joker has three different styles, a default style here which is inspired by the DCEU and the movies. And you can see the ha 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 on the vest coat, waistcoat there for the Joker. But he also has a coat with his signature purple and his acid flower. So that flower has acid in it. Uh, if it's the same sort of flower that I'm thinking, you know, Joker is known for saying, smell my flower. Then when you go to spray, smell his flower, he sprays your face and his ass and it's like, <laughs> So that's one thing um, I've noticed there with our asset. And yeah, you can see the Joker in his jacket get up here. 
Pressing on to the next one, it's the same jacket getup but just without the hat. So you can alternate between the three if you're a big fan of the Joker. That was introduced in Chapter 2 Season 4. We also have Poison Ivy when she's one with nature and when she's just embracing nature with her abilities. So you can see the two there and you have Midas Rex, Midas making a return. Who knows what's going on with Midas in Fortnite at the moment. The last time he made a sort of impact was during the Fortnite Mares. So who knows what Midas is up to. Then we have the Back Bloom, which is the, the Poison Ivy add-on for the Back Bling there that comes along with this pack. You have a Joker backpack, which is a Jack in a Box, or Joker in a Box rather. <laughs> it's, it's actually called Laugh Riot. The Midas Crest can also be attached as a Back Bling. And then you have the Midas Kingmaker. Let's give these a swing. We have the Ivy Axe. The bad joke. You have Joker's Revenge, which is Joker's cane, which is also used in the Mortal Kombat games. Oh, forgot to give that a swing. Let's have a swing. <laughs> and then you have a Contrail, which is a pick a card Contrail, which is definitely a part of the Joker's set there. It's actually all part of the last last set because they've been bundled together for this $24.99 purchase. Moving down, the last thing available in the item shop today is the Fortnite crew. So selecting the Fortnite crew, it costs $9.99 a month, the battle pass is included. So with this subscription, when the new season arrives, you will automatically have the battle pass available. But you also get monthly items available, for example, outfits, bat blings, pickaxes, two different styles each as well for the pickaxe and a loading screen with 1000 V-Bucks and more. If you've purchased this uh, subscription, I haven't, so of course you might know more than me in terms of this subscription. Let me know down in the comment section down below how you're getting on, how many skins you've got, what skins you've got, I'd like to know. So now that we've had a look at all of the items currently available in the item shop today, there was a lot to go through, there was a lot to unpack. Let's go in to how much these things will cost you if you're going to make a purchase today. Let's move into the V-Box. So V-Bucks at the moment, if you purchase 1,000 V-Bucks, this will cost you £6.49 in Great British Pounds. Now, I'm doing this in Great British Pounds, but of course, we can convert this in the comment section down below, and I will do this for you if you need any help like that. So if you're using a diff if you're using Rand, if you're using Euros, if you're using Rupees, do let me know in the comment section down below if you would like me to convert the prices for you in the comment section, and I will do this for you. You can also see that we have 2,800 V-Bucks for £15. Now, if you're going to purchase one of the bundles on the higher end, you will have to purchase the 50, 60, well, 1599 uh, price of V-Bucks. If you have no V-Bucks at the moment, you need to purchase one of the bundles. You, that is where you would have to make your purchase. For the cheaper purchases, if you're purchasing maybe just one item, maybe a glider or, or, or something of the sort, this will be the £6.49 1000 V books. Now the cheapest thing that you can purchase in the item store today is definitely the uh, 319 skin pack that we saw at the very, very bottom there. I've got to have a look at that, at that now so I can show you what that looks like and what you'll get in for that price. The cheapest at the moment is the Hazard Platoon pack and you also get 600 V books. So with these 600 V-Bucks, of course, you'll be able to purchase not a lot, actually. There's not a lot you can purchase for 600 V-Bucks. I think there might be an emote. Right, so yeah, so there's an emote, so there's the Baller emote, for example, and there's a gun skin uh, uh, that you can purchase there. So there's not a lot you will be able to purchase afterwards, but there's a few different, maybe an emote that you can actually purchase. So if you purchase that pack today, along with that, think of yourself of getting an emote or a gun skin as well. So now that time has come, I'm going to give you my final verdict on the Fortnite item store today and why I am making my judgment and giving this rating for the Fortnite item store. So the Fortnite item store today 
We have a lot of volume. There is a lot to select from. We have some good crossover skins because there is customization that comes with those crossover skins. For example, if you purchase a basketball skin, you can change this to your supported team. And there is also a different selection of genders and races that you can select from if you would like a specific race or gender. So it matches you. So you can visualize yourself within the game of Fortnite. Then that is how you'll be able to do that with the crossover skins. We also have some soccer skins, but like I said, while we were having a look at that you can't purchase a whole side of soccer skins for the men or the women within the game which means that the basketball skins have a little bit of an advantage and that may be because that we've had the Neymar uh, asset within the game already maybe that's why because we've had Neymar and that's an actual real player within the game featured in the game maybe that's why it's not available in the item store I don't know uh, but that is something that I've just you know a little bit of a gripe of mine which takes down the rating just a little bit uh, along with the crossover skins we also have a large variety of DC crossover skins so the DC crossover skins at the moment they're expanding a lot more of the DC crossover skins again this may be because we had a lot of Marvel skins in previous skisons, skisons in previous seasons and there are a lot of DC fans that want Superman you guys want Superman within the game there are some big creators that want Superman within the game of Fortnite so of course we might be working towards that but along with Superman on the other side there may be Marvel fans that want Spider-Man so there are, there are two different sides there of that argument. Who knows what will come next in Fortnite. Again, we, until we get to that point, we, we kind of keep the rating just floating. It's floating. It's like, okay, okay, we're getting there. We also have some original skins as well in the item store. Those of you who are OG Fortnite players, you guys love original skins. So there are a few original skins that are available. For emotes, there is a lack of emotes in the item store at the moment. Of course, it cycles daily and there will be changes to the emotes. Now I'm recording this on the 29th of May, Saturday the 29th of May. So this is the item shop at that current time. So this is the reason why what is available at the moment is available. So of course, let's give the rating on today's item shop. I've given you my reasons as to why I'm going to make this rating and why I'm at this point and why it's not a 10. It's definitely not a 10 yet. Definitely volume, there's definitely customization, and there's definitely you know more representation in terms of what's available in the item store. And there's just a lack of emotes. I would very much like the laugh emote because uh, when I do no commentary things, I like to um, you know show you guys what's what I'm actually thinking while I'm playing because I'm not talking to you, so I can't do that. And my rating for today's item shop, I think, is going to be a seven out of ten. So it's fairly high, and there's a reason why it's fairly high, is because there's so much volume, there's so much to select from. The price definitely, definitely was very, very good. So that 319 definitely puts it over the top of a five, over the top of a six. It definitely puts it at seven. If I could give it a seven and a half, I'd give it a seven and a half just for that fact alone. Because 319 is a reasonable price for a skin and V-Bucks. You know, it's 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 up there definitely up there if you think about it if you're purchasing a thousand v books for six pound and you're paying three pound and getting more than half you know it's definitely definitely a good thing there so that's my rating on the Fortnite item shop today. That's my review. We've had a look at the items. I'll show you what I've thought of each item. We've shown you the swing items of the harvesting tools. That is the reason why I give it my rating. If you've enjoyed this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. It, I very much appreciate it, especially when I put this effort into my content creation. My name's Anthony Allen. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Help me out on YouTube if you do that. Over 80% of you watch my videos and do not subscribe and you come back and you watch again. I would love for you guys to stick around by pressing that subscribe button as it's very helpful. Helps me build a community here on YouTube. So that's how much you're getting for your book in Fortnite. Do you get your bang for your book? You definitely do today. Get into the Fortnite item shop today and if not and you've just enjoyed this video then give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Talk to me about your Fortnite gaming, what you've enjoyed and what skins are your favourites. For now, I'll see you in the next video. You should see a playlist as well as a video on screen right now. You can click either one of those for more content right here on the Anthony Allen YouTube channel. With that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.